Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pillars of Eternity, The White March. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you should join me today, because we're trying to get some answers out of these guys. We heard something about the, tide, the Tidebringer and Kawoto, and there's a there's the Eyeless and whatnot. I think the Eyeless are the army that are gonna kill us all or something, I don't really know. But they're not gonna kill us all, because this is an expansion, and we already know the ending of the game. Um, so, we know that we survived this, so, yeah, we're gonna kick their ass, I suppose, or do something. Something is gonna happen. Uh, do you guys know what a Tidebringer is? Tidebringer? That's something they used to talk about at the Temple of Ondra, I think. It's a person, a title, I mean. Tends to be the used, used in the more, um, devout circles. What about the Eyeless? Have you heard of them? The Eyeless? No, I have, I have heard about the Eyeless. Yes, I have heard you guys talk about the Eyeless before. Uh, so apparently I can ask these again. Okay. Do you know anything about the Abbey to the North? I've heard of something like that. A known right stronghold. Not the kind of place that welcomes visitors. That sounds like the Abbey of the Fallen Moon, says Meneha. Is that where she came from? The delegate points to the dead woman. Yes, and it's where I'll find this reliquary so I uh, can call off their army or something. What? Another one? Gods. It feels like everyone in Eora is after the battery now. Why would these Ondrites want to Red Saren out? I thought it's for I thought it's for the stalwart's benefit. Competition, maybe? I I don't I don't know. I'd better go ask them. If you do mean to go to this abbey, be careful. There have been stories about traders wandering north and getting scared off or even killed by strange guards. That's the place, all right. They are a secretive bunch. I suppose you could always try to sneak in. I doubt you'll be you'll be uh, welcome otherwise. Sounds like this Tidebringer would be welcome, I mean. I suppose, maybe if I am the Tidebringer, but I'm not. Maybe I can convince them that I am the one of their, uh, the one they have been waiting for? I hope so. I imagine the Abbey is heavily guard- Oh boy. A sudden deafening crash from the outside makes the delegate jump. Startled, a, a rumbling like thunder follows. You hear further sounds of smashing timber, panicked screaming. Oh no! What's happening? I thought you took care of those soldiers! Yeah, stay put. I'll, I'll take care of it. Yes, very well, very well. We'll wait here, inside. Okay, yeah, let's get this thing on the road, because I think those are cannons. You must. Yes, I know I must gather my party. I think those are cannons. So we've heard that uh, the Red Saturns wanted the cannons from the battery, and I thought they had already sent a uh, an expedition to the to Durgan's battery. We need to go there. We need to check that out, because there's definitely something going on in there. Um, but much apart from that, I don't really know. Oh. What the hell? My objective is to survive the ambush? What are these? Eyeless hammer. Well, they don't have eyes, but they don't think I don't think they have heads either. Okay, so they shouldn't be too much problem. They're immune to a bunch of stuff, but it's fine. Let's kill them all. This is Animancy. <laughs> is it Animancy? I suppose. Just go for them. Don't even bother about too many things, but I will cast this. Man, the soundtrack right now. Looks like uh, the one from... There's a lot of... There's a lot of... Yeah, there's a... In this soundtrack. Yeah. You hear that? <laughs> it is the Lord of the Rings. Exactly. Almost exactly to the point. Uh, there's a lot of inspiration from the Lord of the Rings in the, the soundtrack. I'm not complaining, I love the soundtrack from the Lord of the Rings, but... It's just that we've seen that already in, um... In the soundtrack from, um... What is it? Uh, from Kenua? Yeah. There's also a track there that sounds a lot like the Lord of the Rings. So Giladel is taking a little bit of a beating. That's fine, she has a blinding strike here. Oh, they're immune. Yeah, they're immune to blinded. So if we can attack this guy, he's gonna worry about her a little bit. Oh, she's disengaging? She shouldn't be disengaging. So let's do, um, what's the one? Escape? Yes. She's gonna escape. There's the soundtrack. Oh, she can't... Oh, it changed. It doesn't have a range anymore. That's good. Oh, but it she's down. That's not good. Kill that one. We should be fine. Durance is gonna tank. He should, he should tank, right? And everybody is now fighting this same guy. It is awesome. Shut up. I gave it to you. This guy's immune to what? Shock. That's fine. Just keep going for it. Man, that guy is punching the, the floor, the ground and whatnot. And yeah, that's okay. He's going for Adapa. 
Uh, it's all right as long as he goes for Adapa and doesn't do, do, doesn't do any AOEs, we should be okay. And Adapa, okay, he's down. As the last magfolk falls, a tide of essence sweeps through the ether. It washes over you, and you find yourself in the memories of the Eyeless. So these are the Eyeless. They, it's kind of look like beards, don't it? Doesn't look like like a little mustache over there, and it's like a, a little goatee type deal with the nose. Yeah, but they they are apparently they are. Not li living things? The hulking creatures around you, their sinew-wrapped skeletons clanking and screeching in the semi-darkness. Their bodies fill the air with a tang of metal and the musk of sweat. The cavern in which you stand, it looks like a cavern anyway, glows with a dim ambient light. Still flashes and as the eyeless as shift. Still flashes as the eyeless as shift and stir. Well, the eyeless shift and stir. They stamp their feet and groan in rasping metallic voices. Their restless energy prickles at the back of your neck. Can I? There we go. And in the echoing rumble, you hear something familiar. It's the pounding noise from your dream, the harbinger of a terrible army. You begin to wonder how many eyeless are crowded around you. I suspect there must be scores of them, maybe more. How the hell? Is scores a measure of? Is how the hell would you be more? of... It's uh, it's always scores. I mean, if it's just tens of them, it's always tens of them. Uh, more than tens. Yeah, it's, I mean, it could be millions of tens, but still tens. It's difficult to tell how far back in this chamber the chamber goes or where it is. Ahead, you see a glint of light. It might be an exit already. However, the vision is starting to fade. Let's uh, investigate the glint of the light. You push past the lumbering eyeless and cling to the wilting shreds of the vision. The light up ahead is bl is blinding after the dark of the caves. You rush towards it even as it fades into a pale blur. You can't see where you are, but you hear a cold wind whistling through the gap and you feel a spray of moisture st sting your cheeks. The vision ends, returning you to the frozen and blood-churned mud of the fort. You don't mess around when you make enemies, do you? Nope. Think of a god's cowardice. These abominations stink of a dog's uh, of a god's cowardice. That's what he said. Kind of, kind of uh, got cut his dialogue somehow. It's thing that it. happens in this game for some reason. Let's level level her up. She's gonna go with mechanics. Let's see some offensive perhaps. Uh, let's see. Has she two-handed style? Two, no, this is two-weapon style. I want two-handed style. That's for two-handed style. Grant two melee for melee. Okay, so that, no, want, don't want that. Interrupting blows. That's pretty cool. I like those. So let's go with that. Not that we're gonna need that, but it's fine. Let's have a chat here with Meneha. I guess we should be flattered that someone sent those things after us. But I would have preferred a card. She wipes a sleek uh she wipes a sleek of gore from her neck, sniffs at, at her blood streaked hand and shrugs. I'd heard rumors of the eyeless, but I always thought that name was a metaphor. Though I would have called them Mace Hands of Doom, if anyone had asked me. Well, their name doesn't matter. They, they'll fall by my hand all the same. See, this is what I like about you. <laughs> so this is the mysterious army you've been dreaming about, huh? Yeah. It's a wonder you're getting any sleep. That's why we're going to the Abbey, to stop them. <sighs> I'm regretting all of my decision-making up to this point. Still, I guess a suicidal plan is better than none. Something on your mind? Well, knowing that I'm finally close to getting rid of this memory, it... It feels like it's crowding my head that much more. It's been with me for decades. Driven me halfway across the known world. Perhaps you need to get it off your shoulders, then. <sighs> You're right. Take your time. It was a war. Centuries ago, before Adirin unification. I was a soldier then. Led a campaign across the northern forests to subdue some of the outlying Kalkland villages. Go on. Brutal work. Oh, hmm. Wait a, wait a minute. A war? She centuries ago... Wait a minute. What do you mean a war? This was 500 years ago. When Adir was a folk kingdom on one side and elven oh. country on the other. Oh, yeah, right. She's talking about the memories from, uh, from what she... Yeah, the memories that she has, not her actual character's memories. They fought on and off before they joined. Now the folk and elven rulers marry to keep the peace. Right. The campaign... Lost a third of my forces to the forest, and another third to the elven scouts hiding in it. By the time we reached the first village, we'd crushed their defenses, and they'd bled us. 
wasn't much more than children and the elderly left, but they spit on us when we marched into town. The village elders surrendered and offered us lodging in the old meeting hall. And when the sun set, they tried to burn it down around us. Mm. They barely got a flame going, but that wasn't the point. They betrayed you after surrendering. Seems serious to me. And would that I'd had your principles. In their defiance, I saw months more of pointless, bloody battle as we fought for the rest of the region. I had to break them. And I had to send a message to the rest of the villages. So I nailed every last one of them to the trees around the town and left them there to die. Hmm. Just to keep the other ones from dying and all the fighting and all that. Uh, well, that's true. That wasn't her, Maneha, but... It's, yeah, I don't know. It's it's not... If she saw the months of battle... I mean, if she's trying to prevent a battle from from using by using Terra in a position where basically she has the upper hand here... Mm. Yeah, that's terrible. Don't I know it. Anyway, we should get going. She shoulders her pack and you catch a glimpse of something unusual in it. A thick, a thick roll of cloth bound by leather. What's that? Something I've been saving for better days. Okay. Let's go then. Let us go. Let's also sleep here if I can. Oh, these. Uh, oh, I, can't, I don't need to select them all the time? That's perfect. Let's rest. And uh, let's see. Pay close attention. We got like three rocks right there, three rocks right there, and then five rocks on the right side. Let's see if this is the same. I don't think it is. Nope. It could have been the same model, but not sure. Apparently, we also got a distant relative over here. What is that? What happened? Hmm, this one. A distant relative leads, leaves the stronghold. Well, that's good. Nobody cares about his stuff. Uh, oh. In the southern Adir province of... Oh, these have... Def oh, these have descriptions now? That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. I don't think they had descriptions before. This was certainly not like this. And we also have a prestigious visitor. We need to go back to get Nua. But, uh, should I go right now? I suppose. Let's first get our hands on... There's something here. There's something around here that I want to... There it is. It's over here. So let's get our hands on this. Just so I don't need to spend money. Can we open the gates from inside? Or are they already open? I don't suppose we can. Guys, hurry up. Got places to be. Mm, no, I can't open the gates. Kind of a shame. Kind of weird, but let's get out of here. Let's go away to Kenua. You guys? Yeah, I'll join you in a little bit. And here we are. A return A return to court. Speak to the palace messenger at Kenua. Chancellor Warren seems to have sent another messenger, for, messenger from the Ducal Palace in Defiance Bay. The messenger zero is awaiting. Let's meet this guy. West Curtain Wall construction completed. That's also perfect. That means all of the walls are now up. I believe we only have the library to replace. Curio Shop, the Chapel, and Warden's Lodge. This, what is this? Watch as the wild... Uh, hmm... Okay. Uh, what about... Nah, okay, let's go with the Warden's Lodge. Survival. Yeah, survival for rest. It's fine. I don't need those. Um, well, maybe we do. Ah, we don't. It's all cool. Let's get in there and have a chat with this guy. And by the way, uh, I, I, cut, I cut out that loading screen. It's not the first one that I cut out. Uh, but yeah, the I, I, I didn't know this for sure, but I do know now that I am running this game on an SSD disk or a solid slate drive. SSD, the D sensor disk or drive or whatever. Um... So it should be very, very fast based on the on the read speed, but it's not. And my computer is pretty beefy, uh, so I don't know. It's just th how the game is, I suppose. If you have a weaker computer than mine, I got an i5, a pretty top-of-the-line i5, uh, uh, an Intel computer CPU, and uh, yeah, it's not going to get any better. Pardon the intrusion, my lady. Chancellor Warren urgently requests that you meet him at the Charred Barrel in Brackenbury. Is this about Kenua again? I don't know. My apologies, milady. I am merely a messenger. You're not a very good one if you don't know what it's about. You notice a bead of sweat trickle down, a trickle from the messenger's brow. Remind me who Chancellor Warren is. He's the legal, legal arbiter for Earl Badamar, Lord of the Grasp. I believe you've made his acquaintance at the Ducal Palace. And why isn't the Chancellor meeting me here at the palace? 
Meeting me at the palace, yeah. Uh, perhaps the Chancellor is meeting with you in an unofficial capacity. It happens from time to time. The messenger stares at the ground, avoiding eye contact. Okay, I'll meet with the Chancellor when I can. The messenger bows stiffly. As he exits the chamber, he gives an audible sigh of relief before the door slams shut behind him. Why is he so... Why... I... I was not gonna... Hmm. Okay, whatever. Why was he afraid? Something happened. What happened? Uh, he leave, left. That's fine. Let's also rest, because we can. Um, that'll be the training ground. Oh. Half asleep, a tide of deafening whispers assail you. Uh, assails you, chipping away at your senses, at your mind's un understanding of itself. Their roar is louder, which each passing night their attacks more brazen, less confined to your subconscious. A familiar voice fights its way through the din, calling out to you. Hey, hey, hey! You gotta stop it with that. <laughs> Just about punched you to snap you out of it. You were saying things, but there weren't any words I ever heard. You were shaking so hard I thought you'd crack your spine. Man, that that was nasty. What would I do without a friend to punch me? It was nice to feel needed. I'd have woke you sooner, but I thought it'd be nice for you to be able to close your eyes a bit. Your folks don't last long without sleep. I get the feeling either is gonna have something to do with the, with the main quest, with the with the uh, expansion quest, because people have been looking at him. We didn't really understand what happened to his brother in in the uh, main game. I get the feeling that we are gonna get to see a bit more of this guy. You're twitchy these days. Reminds me of Mayorwald more than I'd like. Anything I can do, you just let me know. We're close on this one. Hang on a little longer. We'll get you fixed up. Yeah, man. Thank you. Not sure if that was from the expansion, though. Because talking about Mayorwald, it could be. I mean, yeah, it kind of sounded like um, we were having dreams from what, came, what comes from the north. But, or to the north, anyway. I don't really know where it comes from. But, uh, yeah, if it is from the main game, it's, it's gotta be, it's gotta be from the expansion, right? I mean, I, we didn't, we never really saw anything, I mean, we were playing, playing a lot after where we got out down into the cave for the main quests when we completed the game, and, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe something happens if we spend too long around, I don't know, I think I've spent, I can check my saves, let's check the saves. Um, so 79 hours, that's the gameplay time, Act 3, 5 months, 13 days and 6 hours, I don't think there's a, yeah, that's the 5 months right there is the, the time in-game, I don't think there's a time limit, hopefully not, but, uh, yeah, we're going to get new one to Brackenbury, 22 hours, 27 minutes, was it that, was, was it, 20, why did it say 27, did I read that wrong, I might have re read that wrong, that was weird, why was that, oh, make it, maybe because I have a, Maybe because I have a, 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 a bonus to something. That might be. So it would be 24 hours minus 10%. That would be... No, probably not. I don't know. An attack was imminent, but your patrols starved the... Staved off the enemy. Starved off the enemy. That would be a feat. So let's see. Where do I need to go? Chancellor Warning has requested a meeting at the Shard Barrel. Is it over there? I think it is over here. Yes, it is. Let's go in there. This is not, not a very nice place, if I'm honest. Last time I was here... We met so so we met a couple of guys that were trying to rob people. I th I think we helped them, and we also met like pirates that something I don't really know. This is not a nice establishment here. I don't enjoy it, and it kind of smells funny as well. Hmm. Can can we? Hmm. There you are. I see you. I see you. Uh, by the way, uh, let me just. No, I, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I, I read something that apparently in the expansion you can now kill these guys, which is a thing that we couldn't do before for some reason. Not really sure. <laughs> I'm not, I, I never attacked one of those, but yeah, I was gonna try it out, but yeah. Chancellor Warren, and he's accompanied by people. Under study. Oh, that guy is studying apparently under somebody. Um, yeah. Lady Kinino, what brings you to Brackenbury? Yeah, let's look around the room. You realize that the charred barrel has gone quiet and turned to see the last of the patrons quickly disappearing through the front door. A moment later, a group of armed men and women stride into the tavern. Oh dear, the Chancellor quickly ducks behind the table. Oh dear for them? The woman leading the armed group lowers her cowl. Cowl? C -c yeah, her hood. With uh, one hand while keeping the other uh, on a pistol tucked into her belt, you immediately recognize Gathbin's captain. 
Now that the sheep has been herded from their pen, you and I can conduct our business. Unfortunate as it may be. Who the hell are you? I remember you, apparently. You were with Lord... Oh, yeah, she was the... Oh, yeah. You were with Lord Gathbin at the palace. Oh, and I you. I'll admit, with your reputation, I expected someone a little taller. What do you want? Oh, I think you know. Lord Gathbin has ordered your death. Oh, really? Oh, I guess you're gonna pay for it, then. Uh, a shame, really. I admire your exploits, even if you only half of them are true. Sadly, I have my orders. Well, Gathbin will lose. You should work for me. The man is swine, albeit noble, wealthy swine. Uh, her lips curl in faint disgust. Were I to do it again, I doubt I'd have taken it with him. But what's done is done, and Lord Gathbin is a ruthless, as ruthless as he is arrogant. He'll go to great lengths to avenge a betrayal. Well, I have killed the Lord already, twice. twice. And, and the second time around, he had a backing of a god. So, yeah, you are not, that guy is not going to last. That, that, yeah. What would you offer to make me consider such a risk? Well, a lot less pain for starters. That's true, but yeah, a better life working for an honorable lady? I've heard such stories about you. They can't all be true, can they? She's silent a moment. Tales of charity, your kindness, but I also see strength in you. But is that enough to best Lord Gathbin? The gamble is too rich for my blood. Still, I think I can tell Gathbin that you didn't take the bait and never showed up here. No need for anyone to die today, huh? Well, that's better for you. Know this, the day will come soon when you must face Gathbin. I have lived this long by knowing which side to be on. Prove yourself on the battlefield, and who knows? Until we meet again, Kirino. Until we meet again. I don't remember her name, but sure. Well, that was unexpected. Warren emerges from beneath his table and smooths the rumpled sleeves of his robe. It does make the strange reports I have received from the grasp make more sense in context, however. What haven't you told me? Earl Badimar decided to keep an eye on Lord Gathbin's activities. Gathbin has been hiring a lot of men recently, but for what purpose, we can't say. I'd advise you take extra precautions at Cat Nua. You may be attempting to place spies or saboteurs within your walls. Be wary, Kirino. I don't think you're, you've seen Lord Gathbin's endgame yet. He swallows the rest of his ale and gives you a curt nod before heading for the door. There we go. That was actually, I think I was a little bit off tone, but that's fine. What did you get? What did we get? An attack was imminent. That's fine. Hardly in payday. That's also very, very okay. And, uh, well, we're out of here, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, let's get out of here. And, um, where to now? I, I want to go to the grasp. I want to kill that guy right now. Why can't we further the, the, the development of this whole situation a little bit faster? That'd be easy, right? Maybe we're going back to get newer right away. And from there, because I think... I think we got uh, so I when the first I did the first episode of this expansion I did it here in in Defiance Bay and then oh yeah I can just press M and, and leave so yeah there you go um, and then I went to Kenua right there off camera and then I went to the White March or I went to the White March immediately I think I went to the Mar White March immediately and right as soon as I reached White March I think I got like a notification that somebody uh, that that message messenger had appeared at Cat Nua so I kind of want to pursue this guy literally and figuratively um, pursue his quest line a little bit for now because I kind of want to see this done before I I don't want it to happen what I don't want uh, things to okay so that was completed I want I don't want to finish the, the expansion before I finish this quest line like I did with the main game. Uh, let's see, Warden's Lodge construction completed. That is okay. Let's uh, see. Let's the library. Go for it, man. Oh, this is Crackhold. I'm in the wrong place. Damn it. Anyway, nothing happened there. So let's go to where do we want to go? The Abbey of the Fallen Moon. Yes, that's where we're going. Is it? Should we go to the st Sorrel Stalwart first? Talk to people here. Just tell them. I'm not sure if they are around though. I hope they are. Just tell them that you know there's. I don't know. Should I talk to somebody? Is there a leader to this town? I don't remember if there's a leader. If there's one, it's one of the... There's two... So basically there's two houses. One to the e northeast and one to the northwest. And neither of them, I think one has an old lady and the other one has somebody. But anyway, let's see. We've got fast mode active, which is as I like it for right now. Let's see if, there, if the guy's still over here. Iduran. And that guy over there. Derian. So let's talk with them. I don't think I talked to this guy over here. Did I? Hey, man. 
Are you a Norlin or a dwarf? Is it true? I saw the lights from the battery. Did it really open? I can't believe it. I was I was sure I'd never make it this route again, but who knows what rat rarities will come from those halls, hmm? Such an exciting time. So what would happen to possess uh would you happen to possess an old helm? Or a horn that looks like it's supposed to be attached to a helm? Idunan opens a compartment on his wagon and pulls out a crackled horn partially wrapped in cloth. I know what this is for, it's a quest that we have. One of the villagers sold me this during a previous visit. He said it came from some rare lake creature and was quite valuable. It's been dismissed as, a, as junk whenever I've tried to resell it. Unless you know otherwise. Uh, yeah, it's part of an artifact I'm trying to recover. Ah! So not not another bad investment on my part then. Six hundred pans is my price. Done. That is pretty inexpensive to be honest. What is that? Garod. As it has twice before, your vision blurs and fades to black. When it returns, you find yourself on your knees, a shattered sword in your hands and a broken battered helm in your in front of you. Your helm. You can feel blood pouring down one side of your face and you know for certain that you will never see out of your left eye again. Arrayed around you is a, in a circle are other warriors, some from your tribe, the rest from an enemy tribe. They watch the combat in silence. You're going to die, old man. Your opponent is brash but young and strong. You still think single combat was a good idea? You do. Last winter's famine took a heavy toll on your tribe and your warriors were in no shape to, defend, to fend off an all-out attack from its enemies. Single combat was your tribe's only hope, but not if you lose. Once again, the world stops, the memories trailing, trail waiting for your guidance. Let's... Okay, so yeah, I remember this. We... Let's take him down with... <sighs> Let's take him down with me, yeah. You're, you force yourself to your feet and toss away your broken blade, summoning the last reserves of your energy. You charge your opponent. He's ready for you. His blade bites deep into your side, a mortal blow. He laughs, but the last laugh is yours. You are older and you are slower, but you're still strong. You seize the young, ma the young warrior's head and, with a roar of triumph, snap his neck and drop his corpse into the mud. You remain standing, sheer willpower keeping you up, until you're certain that you are the undisputed winner of the combat. It's not until the last of, your, of the enemy warriors have left your village that you allow yourself to collapse. The last thing you ever remember is the hands of your people reaching out to catch you. Yes. Yes, it's all coming back. My sister. My reign. The end. Oh. Garrett looks at his own spectral form with a sad surprise in his eyes, watching, in, it, it, watching it begin to fade. But I've only just seen it. There's been so little time to know what to make of it all. Farewell, Garrett. The wheel has no patience, it seems. I entrust my helm to your care. And we got uh, the... what? Uh, apparently I've just lost the helmet. You find Garrett's helm in your hands, wool and unbroken. Apparently I just... where is it though? There it is, Garrett's Charos, or Karos. Farewell, my friend. And off he goes. This I, We've been getting this helmet uh, in the first part of the expansion, if I, if I remember correctly. And it gives might and retaliation. What is it, retaliation? Effects, character hitting self. Oh, it's basically thorns. I like it. I like it very much. Immunity to confuse. That'll be for her. Let's give this to her. Yeah, she looks better. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's give him. No, not this. Not this. No, 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 no. This guy. Mm, immunity to stuck. Immunity to confuse. I, I, we don't really get stuck all that often. And if he does get stuck, it's fine. Uh, so let's do that. And I think it is about to. Uh, ooh. Walks make it completed, returns to Stronghold with some experience. The Hellvax Mound money. What? What? Oh! Oh! That's cool. We got a. Oh, this is really awesome. This didn't happen before, but that's pretty cool. Now our adventures can be read. Yeah, well, you guys go ahead and read that. But for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pillars of Eternity, The White March. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.